Hello all, uh, another late night session here. Uh, I decided to uh, make a video about uh, sandboxing uh, Firefox and you can also um, sandbox other programs as well. Um, the script is called uh, Sandfox and uh, I'll open some uh, notes I had. Uh, this is from uh, readme from the file I downloaded and Sandfox runs with Sandfox runs programs within sandboxes which limits the programs access to only the folders you specify programs in their child processes like Firefox plugins flash and Java are only able to access files within the sandbox and you can make your own custom profiles as it says here uh, it includes three Firefox Skype and Google Earth and you can create separate sandboxes for each program and run multiple sandbox. Um, and they're running what they call CH Roots Jail. Uh, basically, it's like a fake file system um, as a normal user. So it increases this, the level of security quite a bit. Uh, give you an idea, not exactly, but I made a couple of screenshots. Uh, here's one without. Sandfox, if you type in uh, just one of these, like root, into the address bar, uh, um, a slash, this is what you see. With Sandfox, don't forget this is uh, running it as a fake root environment. You can see the difference between this, showing everything pretty much to this. Okay, so kind of an idea. Okay, so, um, I'm going to go a little bit uh, backwards here in the readme. To install it, uh, Sandfox also requires inotify-tools and lsof, list of files I believe that stands for. So you do a sudo app get install and then these two files. Uh, once you do that, you just do a wget and then this address and then install it into this directory here. As uh, here. I'll put this in the description. Um, if for some reason um, YouTube won't let me, um, I'll, I'll put it up into a pastebin link or something so you can uh, copy and paste these in. And to remove it, it's just sudo rm and then sandbox. So uh, let's take a look at this in action, I guess. I made some reference notes, uh, sandbox commands. This is a couple of commands, three commands. There's more. Um, so first command you would run is sudo sandbox two dashes profile equals Firefox. So you don't have to, but it's a little easier. So when you first log in, for example, I'll just copy and uh, open a terminal. I'll paste that in. First time you run this, it'll ask you for a password. Create a new sandbox. And then uh, the second command is sandfox and just Firefox. There we go. It's running. Now, for example, uh, say, I don't know, you had a visitor and they got access to your computer and they went to uh, MajorGeeks.com or something, which is a great site, by the way. Um, and they said, oh, look at this, Classic 8. Let me download this program. <laughs> they download it. Wait for the save file. This is different than you normally get in Firefox. It's going to ask you where to save it. Now it says in the user directory, okay, your user directory, but it's not actually your real home folder. This is the virtual root system, uh, file system. So you just hit save. Okay, don't there's anything wrong with this program either, but uh, just to show you what I mean. 
is uh, we'll open the uh, open the home folder, and Sandfox creates its oops directory. So press Control L and then type in dash um, slash mnt, and you can see it here, Sandfox, and it just has like a structure home the user and there it is there so it created the the sandbox default firefox that profile for my username and there's the executable just isolated from the rest of the system Oh, I shouldn't have closed that. Not open that again. Finally, or not finally, uh, it's recommended that if you're going to reboot, is uh, close Firefox first, like I just did, <laughs> and sudo sandfox dash dash close all. So you just be able to copy that in. And back to your terminal. Paste. And that's done. I think that's all for there. So if we go back to that control L M N T. That same directory has absolutely nothing in it, as you can see. Now beforehand though, um, you don't have to clear this out every time you reboot, but you know, just if it if if your reboot seems slow, then that's probably the reason. Uh, but if you do download something and you want to save it. Uh, make sure you get it out of there <laughs> first. It will give you uh, user rights, by the way, to that folder. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to the website. Um, homepage and instructions is this link. Let's copy. Oh, dear. Control C, that's easier. Sorry about that. And I might as well just do our sandbox. Oops, wrong problem. I made some uh, bash scripts. There we go. Paste that in. And uh, ignorant gurus, gurus blog. Uh, this guy has some really neat stuff for um, Linux. So it gives you an overview, basically what I was saying with a lot more detail, as you can see here. Text is pretty small, but you can just copy and paste this into a text document and read through it if you wish. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. And that's uh, basically how you create uh, or edit the profiles, bind RO and bind for your folders and stuff that you might want to add and more instructions okay uh, let's go down to one last thing uh, create startup scripts there's one for Arch Linux and it gives you some advice a potential problem here uh, but however we're talking about Ubuntu in this case so it's this is the script this thing here Okay, and you create a new text file named Sandfox in this direct, uh, directory Etsy slash Etsy dot init dot d and then Sandfox. So, for example, he says sudo nano and then this. So we could uh, issue a g. Oops. K s u g edit etc init dot d slash sand fox there we go and obviously I've already created one but if you haven't you just uh, right click this part portion portion here highlighted and then copy right and then go back to the um, this this would be empty okay and then just uh, paste that in. 
but since it's not, I'm not going to do that, of course. And Sandfox user, you can change it to uh, your username when, as, for what you log in as. I just left the, the rest the same. So I'll close that. Now you don't have to uh, issue like the profile command. There is a default one, so it'll automatically create a Firefox profile and anyway in the mount directory. So you don't have to issue that. I just thought it'd be easier if you were uh, running this in the session uh, instead of having to always do the sudo thing. Uh, okay. I uh, forgot to mention something important is you have to make this that file you just created, Sandfox, in that this directory. You have to make it executable. So sudo chmod plus x and then this file, then add it to the run levels and the, uh, update rc.d sandfox defaults. And then when you restart or whatever, the sandfox daemon will be running in the background for, ready for you to use the commands I just mentioned. And then if you want to remove it, there's the command there. So I'll put this uh, site in the description, the link, and uh, all the other things I mentioned. And I think that covers it. You could, I don't know, you could do like a um, sand fox, I think. Something like gedit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I don't know, uh, tests. There you go. Um, test. Save. Close. And then you go to that uh, mount directory. I think it would be there. Home. Yep. Test. Okay. So you can uh, run some native uh, applications, simple ones. I wouldn't try anything too heavy, though, like Audacity. Uh, we'll, we'll look for temp files that aren't there and stuff. And I don't think really you could... Google Chrome has its own sandbox. So this is basically for Firefox and then certain programs. Okay? So that's it for this one. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Any questions or comments, just... Uh, add them. And thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.